Checking in with Mark Lowe, director of the Iowa Department of Transportation. There is some incredible things happening right now, sir. One of them being a fancy new license plate. Good morning. How Good are morning. you? Good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. These here. plates have exploded, haven't they? They have. Yeah. And you're talking about the blackout plates. Yes. Blackout yeah. Plates, yeah. Blackout plates. Yeah. We started uh, issuing those July 1st. And we have already sold more than 10,000 of those just in two months, which wow. uh, to put it in perspective, uh, if you look at the University of Iowa plates, Iowa State and the Iowa Goldfinch plates right. have all been out for years. They're, those are the, the only plates that are ahead of us now in terms of specialty plates. Those are at 31,000, 19 and 16,000. So that's really explosive growth in two months for, for a special. Now, plate. how much revenue do these specialized plates bring in? Yeah, so so if you just get a non-personalized plate, you pay an extra $35 uh, the first time and then $10 a year after. If you personalize them, then we add 25 the first time and then $5 per year. So, so it's that's 25 on top of the 35. 25 on top of 35. Okay. So 60 total if you personalize okay. it, right? And so just from those initial 10,000, we've generated more than $500,000 in revenue that all goes to Iowa's roads and bridges wow. at state, county, and local level. What do you think the appeal is uh, of I, these blackout plates? To me, it's, it's really simple. People think they're cool. I mean, I, yeah. that, that's the response we get. That, yeah. was, that was what the legislators that wanted to do this said. They thought it'd be cool, and I, th I think they're absolutely right. That's how people have received them. All right, obviously available right now if you want to go check that out. But we also wanted to bring you in because uh, people are starting to scratch their head a little bit because yep. they're hearing more and more about what's called Real ID. Uh, and we're hoping you could break that down for us a little bit this yeah. morning. Yeah, so Real, I Real ID is a federal program that says if you want to use your license, your state issued license or ID to access certain uh, federal facilities or activities, uh, then it needs to have a gold star on it that shows that it's real ID compliant. And so the first thing you think of is flying. Yep, mm -hmm. that's exactly right. There's really three things and flying is the one that, that, that affects the most people probably right. because uh, accessing any TSA controlled aircraft is one of them. Also any federal facilities that require ID identity to, to enter like Camp Dodge would be an example. Okay, of that. sure. Uh, okay. And then the last one's entering nuclear power facilities. I think that one probably doesn't affect quite as many people as flying. <laughs> well, Jackie right. and I will yeah. affect us. Every we, once we in a while we like to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Field trip. But those are the, the three things those you really have to worry things. about. No, no uh, how do you make sure that you have this uh, on your license? Uh, yeah. Your license? So two things I'd point out about the, the deadline where, where the federal government will start enforcing that is October 1, 2020. So we still have a year to go to get folks enrolled. Right. Um, anybody that got their first time license since 2013 probably already has it. You'll see a gold star in the upper right hand corner of your license. But if, you, if your first license was issued before then, you need to either do it when you renew or to come in and get a, a duplicate license. And so it's just like re-enrolling. You need to come in and bring proof of identity, which is usually a birth certificate or passport proof of your social security number, which is usually a social security card, a W-2, W-9, something like that. And then just two proofs of residency and residential address, which can be two pieces of mail, a utility bill, a, a cable bills, bill, yeah. right? Those yeah, kinds okay. of things have your name and your residential address mm -hmm. on it. And we just, we like we would if we were renewing our license, we take that in and say yep. we want to make sure we have our real ID. Yep, exactly, exactly. So you can do it at any service center. We have one in every single county, uh, either either DOT service center or a county treasurer's office where we're not. Uh, if you're if you're due to renew before then, I would just wait until then. And if you're not and you're worried about it, you can come in and get a duplicate. It's only ten dollars. Right. Okay, and it's going back to flying. Uh, is, mm -hmm. Does our passport still work if we are flying? Yep, that's a that's a really good point. So whether you're flying internationally or domestically, you can always use your passport. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a little flexibility okay. if you're if you're not sure if you're going to get that done before then, and you have a passport or a valid military ID. Uh, is another is another acceptable uh, document that they'll accept. Okay, wow. so we're starting to talk about this now. We don't want people to wait until the last minute, even though it's yep. more than a year a away. Year but away. but yeah. why is this important? Why why is this something the DOT is really uh, jumping on right now? Yeah, well, and we've we've actually been doing this since 2013, um, and, and it's important for us because we want people to be able to get to where they want to go, right? Whether it's flying, whether it's getting into those federal facilities, they need to. Um, the, the the state issued license and ID is what most people care to use when they right. do those things. That's what they carry around most often and we want to make sure that it works for folks. Why was it such a long period of time they have it implemented? As you said, it started in 2013 when yeah. you start doing this. Why such a long period? Yeah, no, that's, an, that's a really interesting thing. It actually started with the federal government in 2008, but there was a number of, there was a number of systems uh, behind the scenes that needed to be created for states to do certain uh, uh, security checks on social security numbers and uh, immigration documents and state-to-state -state record checks and those kinds of things. As those things came to being, we started to bring states online, but then there's an enrollment period really to get people 
in and get their licenses. And so we've seen the federal government push that deadline back from 2011 to 2015 to 2020, but it's very hard 2000, October 1, 2020 now. Okay. That is the definite date. Right. Uh, so right. we want to start implementing that now. Now, we, there are some friends out there, or at least have come to me and they said, I just got my license renewed because I changed my name. I just got married. Mm -hmm. Do I need to go in again and show them documentation in order to get that special star on the yeah, license? If, if yeah, if you've already got the star on your license, you don't have to do anything to, uh, to keep that, yeah. right? If you haven't gotten it, then you just do the same things you that, do that, the that same you do. Thing. Okay. And I would just point out, you can go to our website, just put in, mm -hmm. just Google Iowa DOT Real ID. We have all the information on it as well as a sort of a build your documents checklist that will let you go through and say these are the documents I have, these are the documents mm -hmm. I need, and it'll print out a checklist for you of the things to bring. Make okay. it easy. Right, right. So hopefully no confusion, but giving you plenty of time to get right. that figured out. We've been showing right. you uh, the website links on the bottom of the screen so you can go check that out to see uh, how and the easiest way for you to make sure you got your real ID. Iowa.gov, always the best way to go. Thank you, yeah. sir, yeah, for joining you. us. Thanks always exciting things yeah. happening with the Iowa DOT. Yeah, thanks. All right.